Now, we also have what is called the parathyroid glands. Yes. And the parathyroid, where are these relation to the thyroid and what's their function? Yeah, so that, they're important glands as okay. well. And para, because they're next to, parathyroid, next to the thyroid, they're located on the posterior or the the bottom portion mm -hmm. outside behind the thyroid gland. Normally there are four and they control calcium metabolism calcium. by secreting parathyroid hormone. The truth is though, even though these two glands, parathyroid and thyroid, are anatomically close together, they really don't have a lot to do with each other, but they're both important for separate reasons. So parathyroid disease is something I'm also interested in and has profound effects upon things like bone, osteoporosis and osteopenia. Really? And also if you're Parathyroid hormones are too high or too little. They can affect your thinking and your brain and your cognitive function. So parathyroid glands are actually very important as well. Um, but Dr. Udelsman, can you reaffirm again, you said they have very different functions for the left and the right gland. Can you reaffirm what each is responsible? So the thyroid gland controls metabolism. The parathyroid glands control calcium metabolism, a very specific area, and things like bone turnover. But when parathyroid hormones become abnormal, they can affect your ability to think as well. Okay, and I believe we have a photo of, of these parathyroid glands, parathyroid glands. It's amazing. This is your artwork, correct? This yeah. is your illustration. So this was an illustration I actually did for one of our journals. We were writing guidelines on the management of parathyroid disease. But what right. I've done in this illustration is show the thyroid gland in the middle. And you, what I'm trying to mm -hmm. emphasize the important structures in the neighborhood. So for example, those really big yellow structures yes. coming down, those are called the vagus nerves. And each one gives off a branch that goes and it supplies the, the, the nerve supply to the vocal cord via the recurrent laryngeal nerves, mm -hmm. the smaller yellow ones next to the thyroid gland. Right. The other uh, structures that you see in red there are parathyroid glands and all of their strange and interesting locations. So it's a very tight neighborhood in the neck. And if you think about the neck, it's functionally a conduit from the brain to the rest of the body. And everything goes through there. Tubes, blood vessels, nerves, swallowing tubes, breathing tubes, and each one of those structures it's in quite surgery. quite a system. It's quite a system, <laughs> and they don't have color codes, and they don't have labels on them in surgery. So the surgeon has to know all of those structures, where they are, and how they're associated with each other.